Mukbang! Ugh! Ugh! Ah! Has it been three years? How long has it been? Mukbang was a new genre that took YouTube by storm in 2018. So popular that it made it to YouTube Rewind. Why we? I want to eat something. Mukbang. <laughs> Mukbang. Yeah, Korea. Let's do it. Korea stab. It's fun. It's innocent. But of course, then YouTubers come in. And they gotta take everything to the, to the next level. To the extreme. Not that I've ever done that, of course. What is this thumbnail? I gotta hand it to uh, mukbang channels. They always know how to make a good thumbnail. <laughs> what the f*** is that? Does anyone actually click on that and be like, Ooh, are we? I can't wait to see her eat all that. Uh, mukbang, for those of you who don't know, is basically just people eating food on camera. You know, even though I know that, anytime I click on the video and all I hear is... <laughs> right? This, for example. I really shouldn't be surprised, right? <laughs> it, it is what it is. This is one of those things where you're like, that can't be it. People just eat, they, oh, it, it, that's it. Okay, all right. Now, like I mentioned before, YouTubers come in and they always take it too far. It's sort of become a trend to eat. The nastier the food looks, the more sort of interesting, I guess, people click on it. They want to see. This is called mukbang ASMR. If ASMR is supposed to be something nice and pleasant, this is doing the exact opposite for me. I don't know what you would call that. Oh, that's Mr. Krabs. No. Oh, Mr. Krabs! I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it so much. YouTube, please, bring it back. Um, oh god, she's one of those YouTubers that like all the comments so that you can't tell what people actually think. It's really good, YouTube did remove the dislikes and now they have this. There's nothing left. She likes all the good ones, so they show up, right? Uh, whatever, I don't care. It's just so gross. I get- I- I love seafood, but this is f***ing nasty, dude. Stop it. I don't know what it is with, like, young Asian girls eating really nasty food. Why? <sighs> Stop! Stop it! We're not watching that. I've decided. You're welcome. Then, of course, there's this. This happened in 2019 after I made my video, and it's just, uh... It's just wild. Octopus attacks live streamer as she tried to eat it alive. In China. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This feels like straight out of nightmare. This is the stuff I that shows up in my dreams and I go, oh god. You wake up and you're like, oh god, thank god that didn't happen. I never thought I'd actually root for the, <laughs> for the octopus. This octopus accomplished something great in his life. He would be an inspiration for generations to come. You can do it, man. <laughs> come on, man. May this octopus rest in peace for being a great hero. That's right. I actually agree. No! No! <laughs> But it didn't end well. But she's playing it up, right? It's like, haha, look, it's sucking my face off. Haha, <laughs> so funny. <laughs> but she later begins to panic. Yeah, no. Mm, nah. Mm, yeah. <laughs> my skin is broken. I will eat it in my next video. My face is disfigured. The Industrial Revolution and its consequences. To be fair, there are some funny mukbangs, like the guy that did the cheese thing. That was funny, right? <laughs> Bro, just turn it off. Jesus Christ. I love when he actually managed to do it too. <laughs> nice. <laughs> but some good doesn't outweigh the bad. Oh god, this girl again. <sighs> 
dislike button, bring it back, thank you. Comments turn off. Ugh, fucking pussy. God damn it! The dislike button, I it still, I still, it still hurts, man. I know, listen, I know. It's a fucking fish who gives a shit, right? But still, there is someone mistreating an animal at the end of the day. I don't mean to be greedy or moral, moral, poor, but like, it's done on camera in front of millions of people and it's fine, apparently. And it's, it's also weird, like, I'm not allowed to say what I actually think about this without YouTube coming in and being like, that's bullying, you can't say that. And we also have this girl. I guess she's like the last boss. I don't know what she eats, and I don't know want I don't want to know what she eats. What is that? Don't answer. Only wrong answers are allowed. She always pours that sauce on too. That does not make it better. She eats it like it's Chinese propaganda. <laughs> like, oh, so good. Mm. Mm, so yummy, yummy. So she tries to pull out this snail thing. I don't know what it is. I don't don't care. I don't care. Stop telling me. So she can't get it out. So she just tries to like again pour the fucking sauce on it, and then bite it. She clearly can't bite it. Now, like, what are you doing here? I don't want to know what that is. I don't know. That's fermented soybeans. I actually know what that is. That's a Japanese thing. I don't know why they eat that. Yeah, yeah. All right. Anyway, long story short, I hate it. Now, uh, I made this video by Mukbang three years ago, and there was two YouTubers I brought up. One of them was Nikara Avocado, and I kind of wanted to check in, see how they're doing. Mm. This is from 2018. Let's check them out today. Raise that roof. Raise that roof. We raising that roof. It's funny, he's trying to sell his own clothing that he doesn't even fit into. <laughs> Nikado Avocado is the American final boss of Mukbang. I gotta hand it to him, like, no one does uh, thumbnails better than Nikata Avocado. Because <laughs> no one else can go from the spiciest instant noodles in the world to... We broke up! Extreme fire noodle challenge with Hungry. I feel like I always hear something going on in the background on, of Nikata Avocado and I just cannot be bothered to figure out what is actually happening. But I do remember he did, he did a response to my video and, you know, at least, you know, he can, I know he can laugh at himself, he's not taking it too seriously. Hey, my, my viewers, I'm not doing this for life. Once I hit 30, I'm done. I'm going back to a healthy diet. Be better. So I, I remember that. He said once I'm 30, he's done. He's, uh, he's 29 now. <laughs> I feel like if he managed to just like lose all his weight and come back super ripped, that would be the funniest shit. That would be such a funny conclusion to his whole saga of degeneracy. I don't know what to call it. <laughs> I literally keep revisiting this channel every once in a while to see if he's still like this. I feel like that's the whole reason we made this video. I'm like, ah, oh, I wonder what they're doing. Oh, the same old thing. Mm. Except it's blue now. I really appreciate the Coke Zero as well. <laughs> it's, good, it's good to cut down on your calories. <laughs> Sometimes. We just put a huge dent into this. We did. <laughs> I guess my final take on mukbang is that I hate it. It grosses me out. But clearly people like it. Anything YouTube related is gonna be uh, exploited to the max, I guess you could say. I just find it weird how this kind of stuff YouTube is just... And I'm not saying they should do anything about it. I'm just saying observing how it works. Like, this is all fine. Like, mistreating animals, just blatantly promoting obesity. I know they're not condoning it, especially Nikado has ne never condoned it, but you know, it has its effect that still, kids are impressionable, right? As someone who's tried, dealt with so much censorship on this platform, it's like, what? Really? I'm just baffled by it. I'm not saying I, di I, I disagree with it existing at all. This is weird when you find these different corners on YouTube and like, oh, this is fine. Oh, why? Okay. <laughs> anyway, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Smash like, subscribe, and you could win a billion dollars. Subscribe now. You could.